And this year is the, marks the 74th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. And also uh, the 34th anniversary uh, of uh, the establishment of our diplomatic ties between China and Bahrain. Uh, during these uh, past 34 years, uh, the relationship between China and Bahrain has been uh, developed very fast, especially uh, in the end of last year, uh, the Chinese President, uh, His Excellency Xi Jinping, uh, had a very successful meeting with His Majesty Hamad in Riyadh, and also they reached a lot of, con uh, uh, a lot of uh, agreements at that meeting. And uh, uh, so in these years, uh, the political uh, high-level exchanges between our two countries become more than before. And also pragmatic corporations and also cultural people-to-people uh, -people exchanges, we see a lot of achievements. And uh, so uh, we are uh, definite that uh, the relationship and corporations between China and Berlin uh, will become more than before and I hope so. So then, uh, this year marks the 74th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. And during this past uh, 74 years, uh, China has uh, achieved a lot of uh, changes and de developments. Now China becomes the world's second largest economic and also the largest uh, industrial producer. And uh, there are many changes in the people's living standards. Uh, so we are definitely, uh, now we are on the road, on the advancing to the, <coughs> uh, to the great rejuvenation of Chinese nation through the Chinese path to the modernization. Actually, uh, Bahrain is a very friendly country of Sri with Sri Lanka, and uh, Sri Lanka and Bahrain has enjoyed uh, uh, beautiful uh, bilateral relations, both in political, economic, socio-cultural fields. And this uh, Lulu Fest is an annual event. This is the tenth, eleventh uh, episode of the Lulu Fest. We have hold it in Bahrain and uh, Lulu March and uh, Embassy of Sri Lanka is jointly organizing this event. And uh, this time we have uh, uh, Sri Lankan ethnic uh, food items as well as uh, groceries and organic products uh, brought from Sri Lanka. 
and also we have this uh, beautiful uh, cultural performances performed by Sri Lankan uh, Dance Academy in uh, Tiranga Kala Academy in Bahrain and also uh, Sri Lankan Singhala School, the, those uh, other two uh, dancing performers. And also, uh, this, uh, there are, uh, there's a sector for culinary, uh, uh, culinary products, uh, culinary uh, display, and Zena uh, restaurant in Bahrain has, uh, uh, is uh, present uh, from 7 to 13 to uh, uh, in the food sector, uh, hot food sector. They will be, uh, uh, they will be having Sri Lankan authentic food as well as uh, uh, the, uh, some uh, food items to uh, be bought by the visitors during this uh, festival. Well, yeah, it's the first time foremost we thank uh, Lulu Group of Companies for promoting uh, our beautiful nation. And the two nations have a very uniqueness. Uh, if you ask me what, is that uh, Bahrain is known as the Pearl of the Gulf and Sri Lanka is known as the Pearl of the Indian Ocean. So the two has bonds for so many years. I heard the diplomats saying about the, uh, the bonds and I think we can more develop with this production of Sri Lankan producers which we are well benefited to send it to Bahrain. Yeah, this event they organize annually and it's a very nice event, right? And it, uh, it actually shows the culture, shows the, you know, the people, it shows the diversity of the country. And uh, Lulu is always uh, helping the communities to, you know, uh, to come out and show their, you know, you know, the countries and show the talents. So I think uh, Lulu is doing a wonderful job in promoting uh, these, uh, the countries and their cultures. So I think uh, it's a great job. It's a great job and I, and I wish all the best for Lulu. And uh, they're doing a great job in this country. I wish them all success. The, uh, some uh, food items to uh, be bought by the visitors during this uh, festival. Uh, during the festival, there, are, uh, there is a, uh, um, a section for hot food and there will be Zena restaurant and their uh, chefs will be displaying Sri Lankan food uh, to the visitors and they can taste uh, different varieties of Sri Lankan food uh, cooked for them, hot food uh, for the visitors. And visitors can taste the uh, food from Sri Lanka uh, because in different regions of Sri Lanka they have different varieties of food. So uh, this uh, Zena restaurant will make uh, the um, we have like uh, Northern Sri Lanka, they have uh, influence from Tamil Nadu, the food, and also uh, South of Sri Lanka, there is uh, fish and other uh, items. So the Bahrain uh, visitors and also Sri Lankans could taste these foods during the three days. I'm wearing the Sri Lankan traditional candy and dance form outfit. Um, so maybe you must have witnessed already that I put together all, most all the dance forms of Sri Lanka on one stage. Um, the dance was called Experience the Beauty of Sri Lanka, which, which tells us or tells you that you should come and visit our country, Sri Lanka. So we put together all kinds of um, cultural dances. And you know, I must thank Lulu uh, and the Sri Lankan Embassy for putting up this show for all the audience in Bahrain to witness our culture and you know appreciate our culture. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. The most beautiful island in the world, where heritage culture and breathtaking nature elevates your senses. A land like no other. Exotic. Alive. Vibrant.
Columbo.